Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you. Good morning. Good to see you. You have somebody next to you that you hadn't greeted this morning, someone in front of you or in back of you. Won't you go ahead and greet them? You don't have to get out of your seat. If you can turn, shake their hand. Amen. If there's anyone nearby, don't necessarily get out of your way. Greet someone this morning. Praise God. Amen. Anyone excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning? That's a good thing. Praise God. Well, if I can get your attention for just a minute, just a second here, we're going to go ahead and start this morning. Um, who's keeping the children? Sunday school teacher. Who's the Sunday school? Okay, if I can get two ushers, two ushers to do this really quickly. One, go downstairs, gather up the people, tell them we're starting. Somebody go out there, anyone is out there, we're starting. Amen. Anyone that's responsible in any area, won't we go ahead and uh, open this? Uh, we're not having a traditional uh, church service, nor are we having a usual apostolic worship service. All right. Uh, amen. This is a morning of celebration. Yes. And so... If you don't know how to celebrate, we're about to show you. <laughs> Amen. We're just here to have a good time That's this morning. Right. Um, but I will tell you, even though we're not having your typical uh, worship service, uh, we do believe in starting with prayer and worship. Amen. If nothing else, we've come, we've come to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. And we can always use prayer. I don't know about you, but I can use prayer. Yes, amen. Amen. And so what we're going to do, why don't you just stand to your feet, please? If you're able, no pressure. And uh, we're going to start this morning out together yes. in corporate prayer. So if you are comfortable, don't want to make you uncomfortable. If you're comfortable with reaching out to the person beside you, uh, we're going to pray together in corporate prayer. Well, you may say, well, I don't know how to pray. All you have to do is open your mouth and talk to him. That's right. That's right. Prayer is simply communication to God. Amen. So why don't we do that right now? Father, we love you today, and yes, we acknowledge that we're here because of you. It is you that have given us life and breath and strength. Father, we pray right now that you would have your way free course here today. God, we pray that these people would be uplifted in heart and in spirit. Yes. God, we understand this uh, holiday season that it's a front and a fraud sometimes uh, to, to hide behind our cloak of depression and yes. sadness. We pray, God, that every soul would be lifted up in you this yes. morning. We pray, Lord, that you would give peace, grant peace in hearts this morning peace of mind this morning we pray that your spirit would flow in this service oh god in our time of celebration and gathering together lord we need you not just in this season but we need you lord 365 days a year 24 hours a day we need you oh god we acknowledge our need for you we can yes. do nothing without you nothing. father we ask you lord to send down the rain as the praises go up to you. Bless this people and this congregation together, oh God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody say Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. The song says there's power in the name. How many know there's wonder working power? Yes, indeed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You did not you did not come just to a Christmas program. No. You've come into the no, house no, no. of the Lord. Amen. And while we will sing holiday songs in just a little while, we're going to sing praises to him first. Amen. Amen. I wasn't always a pastor. All right. I wasn't always a preacher. All right. Amen. At one time, I didn't have a microphone in my hand. I had something else in my hand. 
But God saved me. He delivered me. He rescued me. He set me free. Man, I can lift up holy hands unto the Lord. I can magnify the Lord with all of my heart, all of my soul, and all of my strength. Because he is a good God. Oh, hallelujah. Magnify the Lord with me. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Let's just do that just a few more minutes, shall we? Hallelujah. I, don't, I really don't have to ask this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway because I can just feel it. How many are glad to be here this morning? Yes. Can I just, I see so many like Christmas or holiday colors. Can I just say y'all look good? Y'all really do. Why don't you look, tell your neighbor you look good today? you say it with conviction. Tell somebody else. You look good. Now don't get in trouble. Okay, don't get in trouble. <laughs> but y'all look good. Yes, you do. Yeah. You know, I got up this morning and was spending, spending my personal time with the Lord and I just you know, this is that time where you just reflect on the year and, you know, as pastors already alluded to, sometimes, it's, you know, we tend to focus on what didn't happen, focus on the lows and focus on all of that stuff. But I tell you, there's something that rose up in me this morning. I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm going to focus on the good. I'm going to focus on what did happen. I'm going to focus on the goodness of the Lord. I'm going to stay there. You know, it's a choice. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on the good things that the Lord has done this morning. We're going to rejoice. We're going to give him glory. We're going to give him honor. We're going to give him praise. Because when it's all said and done, he is due of all of it. Amen? Look what the Lord has done. Look what.
about us. We are not traditional. Oh, okay. We are not traditional. We're gonna try just one more time. We are not traditional. We are not. Oh, there you go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So my goodness. Again, when Pastor was up there just talking about the, the things of the Lord, he said this word and it just rang all over again in my spirit. He said, he was set free. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Somebody can relate. I can relate. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. He found me. So this song is not traditional so true. So we're just going to continue to have a little bit of fun. Is that okay? While somebody adjusts the heat because I'm cooking and according to my husband I am a princess so I will melt. Okay. Amen. I want to clap a little louder than before. Clap a little louder than before. Hallelujah! I want to sing louder than before.
more shack, no more chain, no more bike. No more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. No more shackles, no more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. No more hallelujah, no more chains, no more bondage. got to make sure you get it all out. Oh, that's plenty more where that came from, Pastor. Praise God. Amen. Well, here's something to shout about. I have a baptismal certificate to present. <laughs> all right. Yes, ma'am. There's always one in the crowd. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're it excited. is exciting. Okay. It is. It's always exciting, Cairo. I have a baptismal certificate to present to, and I may get this wrong, Shara or Shira? Shara? Shara. Is it Shara? Shara Woodley. Hallelujah. <laughs> You can be seated for a moment. We put the air on. We had the heat on. We wanted to let you know the heat works. Now, because it's cold outside. So I'm just saying. Now, we, now we're going to freeze you to death. Well, not necessarily to death, maybe to life. Praise God. So if you could find a seat somewhere. 
Uh, that would be wonderful. Praise God. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of uh, announcements out of the way first, and then we're going to go ahead and proceed. This is a little tricky because I don't have the pulpit here. They took my pulpit. They took my seats. Next thing you know, they'll be kicking the pastor out of the church. Amen. Who's on the Lord's side? <laughs> Praise God. Um, by way of announcements, uh, this is the holiday schedule. We're already in the throes of the holiday week. Uh, there are no uh, small groups that are meeting in homes this week. Um, there is no Thursday uh, evening worship service or worship gathering this week. Next week, Oh, we have more? Okay. All right, I like that. Uh, next week, we'll resume our regular, regularly scheduled services. Other than there won't be any small groups next week, the week of, um, the week of New Year's. We are not having a uh, night watch service. If you want to watch tonight, go right ahead. 11.59, I plan to be in bed, sleep. I'll see the new year when it gets here. Well, no, you'll keep me up. No, seriously. No, actually, I typically will stay awake um, now, and I seem to be a night owl and an early riser as well. I don't get any sleep. But uh, we're, we're not having a, a service or anything like that uh, on New Year's Eve. I'm not sure whether uh, Central. Uh, well, first, I want to welcome Brother Mike. You won't you stand, Elder? You. Amen. Uh, praise God. It's good to have him up from uh, Antioch. I'll say central by means of uh, the central location. Uh, Elder Yu is one of our executive elders for our church. We have three uh, churches. This is one of our three uh, congregations. We have three locations uh, that meet, one here in Baltimore, uh, one in Crofton, and one in Arnold, Maryland, which is right outside of Annapolis. Um, and uh, the Arnold Maryland location, location is our headquarters, if you will. And uh, Brother Yu has come to be with us this morning. Amen. Um, and I don't know whether there is a, a, um, a service for Central on um, New Year's Eve is there that you know of? There is? Okay, so there is a service. We're, we're not having one here New Year's Eve. We will have a Thursday uh, service. We are having a Thursday evening service the day after New Year's, which is the second. And so uh, if you're interested in that, uh, you can uh, attend that as well. And so uh, we're, we're probably sending an email out for a, a fellowship meal somewhere uh, so we can get together, but we won't have a, an official worship service, worship gathering, church service. So uh, that's the end of those announcements. I, I, well, let me get this out of the way. Not necessarily out of the way, but let me present this. I have a baptismal certificate for Cody Duncan. Congratulations. All right, All right Cody. Praise God. Awesome. Amen. Love it. It's awesome to see. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to do something different here. Uh, again, this is not your typical service. Um, I'm going to read a card. It was sent in the uh, mail to our address here at the church. And uh, this is going to be a segue into something else. Amen. So um, it's from... Uh, Lyndon and uh, Shannon. And so it says, To my church family at Antioch North, a spirit of love and peace from above, wishing you joy in this uh, season of seasons. Pastor and First Lady Simpson, all and all, let me read that again. Pastor and First Lady Simpson and all the members of Antioch North, Lyndon and I, speaking of Shannon, uh, love you all so very much. You have... Uh, Help me or help to open my eyes and my heart to the King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Amen. So, Sh Shannon, won't you stand, please? Thank you very much for the call, Shannon. And that's to all of us. And so, we, we love you too. With that being said, is every year we um, typically have uh, pawn setters that we give out, and we normally would have some sort of uh, drawing uh, for those pawn setters. But a lot of times, some of the people that have been here for a while will typically get the pawn setters, and we wanted to kind of give them to uh, some new people. And so, uh, with that being said, uh, Shannon, after service is over, not before, we need it for decorations. <laughs> now, you, these two are not real, even though they may look real. This way, we'll, we'll break them out every year. But those are real. So you don't want the fake anyway, even though they're bigger. You want the real thing. Real thing. Amen. That's why we're here. We're here for the real thing. So you'll take the real thing with you. Uh, but one of those pawn setters, you can choose which one you want. And also, uh, is uh, Sandra Dutton here? This is Sandra Dutton. Won't you stand, please? Is she here? I thought I saw her. Maybe she's downstairs. Huh? Sandra Dutton? Why don't you stand, please, if you're able? I don't know if you're able. Okay. And so, praise God. Sister Dutton has been battling uh, an illness, and we want you to take one of these pawn setters. Home, as, we're not right at the end of the service, all right? We want to we um, kind of decorate the platform, but as soon as we finish, uh, our last song, please come down and take one of the smaller pawn setters, one of the real ones. These two are not real. Amen. Amen. And if somebody tried to take the false ones out of the building, one of those big bodyguards back there may uh, accust you. you. We don't want that to happen. And um, I'm going to ask a quick question. Uh, Sister Haney, Jan Haney, are you here? You're not getting the pawn setter. Don't, don't get happy. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, if we, we want to give one to the, uh, the bus driver. So you can grab one for the bus driver. She takes the time and she, she's not... She, she's not a member of our church. Uh, we have one of our members of another congregation. Yeah. He actually owns a bus company. He uh, allows us to utilize the bus. It comes all the way from Calvert County, yeah. all the way up here to pick people up, yep. drop people back home, and then go all the way back down to uh, Calvert County. So we want to give uh, uh, the bus driver one of these uh, uh, poinsettias. And lastly, we want to give a uh, pawn setter to Tanika. Tamika. Is it Tanika? <laughs> Tanika Lewis or is it Tamika? She's downstairs. Good. Now I can get her, right, her name right. It's Tamika. Thank you. Don't tell her I said that. So, <laughs> okay. So, Tamika, after service, you can get one of the smaller pawn setters after service. Okay. Now, she's been doing a wonderful job in bringing people into services. Tamika! All right. Amen. Amen. So, I, I want to read... A, I, I want to read one scripture to you. Can I do that this morning? Yes. I know you came here, I'm sure, for the uh, holiday stuff, but I'm going to read a scripture. Thank you. You're kind, sir. That guy, he's all right, isn't he? You can tell by the smile. I'm reading from the uh, book of Luke, chapter uh, 2. And I'm just going to read four verses of scripture. Actually, it will be five. Uh, and that's verse number eight. And you don't have to turn to it on the screen. We'll just leave, we'll leave the holiday uh, graphic up. Well, she did. Wow, they're, they're pretty good, aren't they? Uh, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord uh, shown around about them, and they were sore afraid. Amen. 
Um, let me just say this, in this holiday season, there, there, there are all types of emotions and feelings yes. and fears yes. uh, that we won't readily yes. uh, make known to others. Uh, we tend to uh, exhibit uh, the attitude that this is just a wonderful season, everything is going wonderful. And normally around uh, January the 15th, uh, the facade that had been put on yes. for the past month begins to wear away, yes. fade away, yes. and people realize that the joy that the season promised oh, to give goodness. was not lasting. Nope, not hard. It's the, uh, and I'm not trying to put a damper on your, your holiday season, but it, it's a known fact that it is the, the suicide rate increases, uh, depression, anxieties, yes. fears, yes. and all that uh, during uh, this season. Yes. And God never intended for this to be a heavy, weighty season. All right. Or for it to be a season that's marked by a, a, a facade of uh, happiness. Right. Because you can't find happiness at Walmart, trust me. All right. You can't find it online for your online shoppers. You can't find it under the Christmas tree. Nope. No. Or from anyone bearing gifts. I'm going to continue to read. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. If you, ha if you want to have great joy, it only comes with good tidings. All right. All right. And he's the only one that can bring you true joy. All right. That really is the truth. That is the truth. They, uh, I, I saw an advertisement, and uh, it was a, 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 um, a cruise, a ship. And my wife has been wanting to go on a cruise. I pray to God grants her that wish. It's a wish right now because it's, she must not have prayed. Because I, 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 I love the water. I love the beach. I mean, I don't go to the beach per se. I'm not a beach person. I'll, I'll sit in the hotel, open the, um, the patio. Let the, I like to hear the noise of the, the ocean and the breeze and all that. Um, and, um, but they, they had the commercial on and uh, advertising and they, you know, trying to promote it as a paradise. And to some it may be a paradise. But for me, any uh, thing on this earth that's offering what is deemed as paradise that doesn't have God involved, okay. it's not paradise at all. Oh, way short. Anything that's promoting sin and promiscuity is probably hell disguised as heaven. There's a song that says, heaven, Jesus will be what makes it heaven for me. When Jesus was born this day that's uh, being read here, it wasn't to start a new religion, no. to start a cult, mm -hmm. something strange or anything like that. As a matter of fact, it was to bring great joy to all people. Nice. Verse number 11 says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. And should I say the Savior? The Savior. The only one. The only one. Which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. This Lord, this Savior, this God manifested in flesh. The Bible says in John chapter 1 and verse 1, that in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. The Word was God. In the beginning was with God, and the Word was 
made flesh, the scripture says. The Bible says that all things was made by that word, that yes. God. God robed himself in flesh. The scripture tells us that in the beginning, who we call Jesus that was in the flesh, he wasn't flesh in heaven. He wasn't apart from God, a second being from God. Because there is only one God. And the Bible says there's only one visible manifestation of God. And that's the Son who came to bear record of him. And Jesus said, when you see me, you have seen yeah. the Father. Yeah. And so that invisible God, that great God, that eternal God, said, I'm going to give myself a body, yeah. which he called yeah. his Son, that he may reveal himself to the world and to die for our sins. The scripture tells us that Jesus made himself of no reputation. He had a glorified state with God as God, and he came down in the form of man, according to the Bible. He was robed in glory and born in a manger. He was robed in majesty, yet when man saw him and the shepherd saw him, he would be wrapped in swaddling clothing. This great God that had glory stepped out of glory and was robed in what we would call rags. The word swaddling means strips of clothing. The angel said unto the shepherds, this is going to be a sign to you. This great Savior is going to be born in the city of David. And this is the sign, this great Savior, the Lord will come to his people. But he, the Lord, the great God will be wrapped Hallelujah. in strips and rags of clothing. That's the God that we serve. He was willing to come down from glory and he came down from riches to rags so we can go from rags to riches. That's the great God that we serve. The Bible says that we are dead in sins and trespasses. That our righteousness is as filthy rags. But I have good news for you this morning. God desires for you to go from your rags to great riches. Amen. Hallelujah. And only God can do that for you, and only God can do that in your life. And at this time, uh, we're going to begin to switch gears and uh, give you what many of you have come for. I pray that wasn't uh, sarcastic. Y'all start laughing. You're laughing in my room. <laughs> and our people, seriously, they came. I, I, hey, I, I kid you not. I came, to, I came for it. I can't wait to sit down and, and hear the... I love... Uh, Christmas music and holiday music. If you don't like it, that's on you, but I, I love that. And I will, I, 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 um, I'm so appreciative that we have some uh, God-given talent and um, some people that love God, love people with the Spirit of God as we lift Him up during this holiday season. <laughs> So one last thing to cover before we do, uh, before we switch gears. This is a regular Sunday morning service. We're not having Sunday evening service. We're not having a Thursday evening service. And so at this particular time, if you're a guest, we want to tell you thank you for being our guest, for coming here today. Uh, if you are a first time guest, to my right here through that uh, door, we have a reception center we have some gifts to present to our first-time guests. Uh, and so please, right after, after the uh, service, please step to this room and someone will present something to you, let you know about our church, offer you a, a wonderful gift, a token of our appreciation for you being with us. Uh, but at this time, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and receive our regular 
offering for our worship service. If you're a guest, we're not soliciting. You're not on any, any obligation to, to give. Uh, again, this is part of our worship service. We just want to let you know. Uh, feel free to sit down, stay seated. Uh, if you uh, don't feel to give, and that's fine, that's perfectly fine. We're going to have the ushers to come. Amen. Those who want to give, won't you go ahead and stand? We're going to worship the Lord in our giving, and then we're going to move on with the service.
Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Pero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart.
Come on, can we give him a hand clap? Can we have Antioch North's praise team come on up, please?
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God in eternity past that had a master plan Jesus birthed in flesh in a manger died almost 30 years later was raised up in the glory came back down in the form of the Holy Spirit and it's in this place this morning. What you feel is the presence of the Almighty God. And I would be remiss if I left and would dismiss the service if I didn't give you an opportunity to pray one more time. So right where you are without any pressure, would you just lift your hands up to God right now? Jesus. And Father, God, help us to hear your voice above the noise of the holiday season, above the fanfare and all the hooray. God, I want to hear you. I want to come close to you. I want to know you. Jesus. Come on right now. As we close out this holiday celebration, we want to give you an opportunity. Hallelujah. Come on, just reach out to him right now. And he's not very far from any one of us. Come on, I would be remiss if I didn't give you an opportunity to respond right now. Hallelujah. Some of you, God's calling you to go a little further, maybe to stand up before him. Lift up holy hands to him. Cry out to him. Come on, this is your opportunity. You may not get this opportunity again. He's a holy God. Come on. You feel his presence in this place. Come on. If somebody's next to you, won't you grab their hand? Let's pray together. And she sings this song. Come on. He's holy. You are holy. Come on. Right now. Right now. somebody let's pray together the Bible says pray ye one for another and pray pray ye one another's bird we're going to pray together come on holy we serve a holy God
love you. As we close the service, stand to your feet. Come on. Clap our hands to him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. 